Hey guys, my name is Grace and today I'm going to be making some Christmas and winter DIYs. So if you guys like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. And with all of that being said, let's get into the video. So for this first DIY, I'm doing a snowflake themed rock. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint a base coat of white over the whole rock. Once that base coat was dry, I painted on a nice light blue color, and you may need to do a couple of coats of this. Then, using a white acrylic paint marker, I added a snowflake onto the front of the rock, and then some dots around it as well. And the last step to this rock was to add a spray gloss, but you can also use Mod Podge or any other protective coating that you have. And I do want to point out that the bottom of my rock got pretty dirty and scratched up, but it doesn't really matter, as long as the front of your rock looks nice, it's good. For the second DIY, I have a wooden ornament that I'm going to try and paint to look like a candy cane. On this ornament, there's a string to hang it and also a little place for a picture, so I'm going to be removing all of those different parts so I can paint just the bare bones of the ornament. I don't want to get paint on all of the other spots, but I will add them back at the end. Next, I painted a base coat of white on the ornament, which wasn't really needed because I think I forgot to do it on the back, but the color went on just fine, so if you're doing something similar, you definitely don't need a base coat. Now I'm going to paint the whole ornament a nice Christmas red, and I think I only needed about two coats of red on each side to get nice coverage. Now for the candy cane part, I'm going to be using a ruler and pencil to draw on some lines. And there are some divots in the ornament, I'm not going to be painting in those, but you can if you want. And my lines aren't very straight, but you get the idea. I'm only going to be doing the lines on the front of the ornament, but you can do it on both sides if you want. To fill them in, I used a small dotting tool, and it didn't go on super well, so that was just kind of the outline, and I went in with a smaller paintbrush to kind of fill them in afterwards.
And I also made sure to paint the little back plate that holds the picture in red as well. And finally, I'm just going to cover the whole ornament in some matte Mod Podge, then add all of the little parts back in as well as a picture, and then this ornament is done. with how both of these DIYs came out and leave me a comment down below which was your favorite and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!